indulge us, because Young Hollywood is going to give you a taste of the celebrity lifestyle sweetened by Magnum Ice Cream. RJ here. Now, you know we've hung out with Selena Gomez a lot in the past, but this is the first time we've actually had her in the Young Hollywood studio. How are you? Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming by. Of so I want to talk about your ride a little bit over the last few years, because obviously, you know, you started at Barney, you know, on Barney, and then you become a huge Disney star, and then a movie career, music career, a fashion line, and, and now a perfume line. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a pretty serious ride. <laughs> kind of, a little bit. Well, what have you learned through all this? Everything that I've been a part of, I've been really proud of, whether it was when I was younger or doing something now. So I, I don't know. I, I, everything I'm doing, I feel right doing. You know, the perfume line which we got here, which is yes. looking awesome. I like it. Pretty. Let's talk about the design a little bit, how you decided to do what you did. Um, the bottle was really kind of complicated because we wanted I wanted it to be a tall bottle. And then I still wanted it to be youthful and fun at the same time. So we did the little like wire kisses and stuff that are really fun that you can adjust as well. And then we kind of made the bottle like a dress shape. So it looks like it's like oh. a gown, like a gown falling because I like to wear gowns. It makes sense. <laughs> I didn't get that until now that you say it. Yeah, it so sense. it's simple. It's not too complicated, but I mean, the fragrance is kind of stands itself. So. And the name, Selena Gomez. Yeah, I wasn't going to like think about something in depth about what I wanted to call my first one, so I just used my name for the first one. At any point, were you thinking of different names of what to do, or that was? I, I really about? was. I was trying to think of something really creative and fun for it, but I was just I, I didn't want to complicate it, so I I just kept it simple. Right now, now I saw some great pictures of, of you in a fish tank. Yes. <laughs> How in the world did that come about? That one was. I wanted it to have the illusion of I was in my fragrance bottle in a way, so I was in like a long gown that's like the the bottle, and I'm in this tank, and it was so warm. It was actually nice. It was like a hot tub. I was sitting in a hot tub all day doing um the fragrance shoot so yeah that was the concept behind of the, the whole tank so you're working all the time being in fish tanks and doing all this how do you actually treat yourself when you're not not working uh, nothing i like to <laughs> sleep i like to sleep and just stay in watch movies do nothing that's my treat sleep's a good thing yes it is well, what's a typical day i mean i know no two days are the same but what time are you getting up and um i mean morning you know usually early doing something for either the fragrance or music and like nighttime could be either studio or just or on set somewhere on the other side of the No, country. two days the same. Yeah. Now, I love all the, the fan interaction, how you actually got your fans involved in, yeah. in creating the whole process. I mean, I obviously couldn't, wouldn't even be possible to do that if it weren't for them, and they're the ones that I want to wear the perfumes, so I thought it would be nice if they got a say. So they got to pick out the final fragrance with me, so 12 of my fans got to come and, and pick it out with me. What are you going to do next? Where do you, <laughs> where do you go from here? Now, um, I just finished my movie Spring Breakers, and now I'm going to Bulgaria to shoot my next movie called The Getaway. You excited be... for Bulgaria? Yeah, I'm a little nervous because, I mean, but that's how I felt with Budapest. I went to Hungary to shoot a movie and I was nervous but ended up loving it. So I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy being there away, far away, and just kind of focusing on the movie. That'll be fun. And I love, I saw, if you had to describe your scent in, in one word, you said yummy. Yeah. So what I want to ask is if you had to describe Selena Gomez in one word, what would that word be? Uh, delirious. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's a good one. I'm always half there, half not, I think. <laughs> and, and why yummy for, for the scent? Because it that smells really good. I, I just feel like whenever I smell someone, it just stays with you and it creates a memory. So I, I like that feel of like, it's kind of delicious. It's cute. And like the color scheme and everything, like again, the fans were just involved. In, yeah, in I mean, every step that's the basically, they they helped create that every every part of the evolution of it. So I like it. Two quick things. We got some fans that asked some Twitter questions. So oh, I just nice. want to give a shout out and see. Okay. So I got Selena's back is the name. You got Oh, it nice. Off. Thanks. Ask Selena if she'll come up with more perfumes after this one. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, people like this one. And if they do, maybe I will do another one. But not any plans. I like that. All right. Team Karen MB. Now, we know you have one word yeah. to describe. Shout out to Karen MB. <laughs> How would you describe your perfume in three words? Uh, oh gosh. Um, Not just yummy, we need a couple I more I know, words. so I'll use yummy. Um, sophisticated and fun. I like that, that sums it up. Last thing, advice just to young Hollywood out there. You are what a lot of people aspire to be and, and you're doing everything. People want to sing, you've done it, act, you've done it, create your own clothes, create your own perfume, you've done it. Just what advice do you have to people out there of, just, of how do they stay with their dreams? Have fun and be nice. Just be nice. It's so good to be nice to everybody. It makes for a better experience and just enjoy it and don't take no for an answer because that's the go-to. 
That's little a, motto. It's a good one. You've always been nice. I remember we first interviewed you four years ago. You've always remember it. Yay, good. Well, there you go, Selena Gomez and Selena Gomez. Make sure Yay. you go check it out. Macy's exclusive right now, and then be in a bunch of other places. Yeah.